Hello everyone, this is Mad Cat Sphere, and I just want to upload a video to talk to you guys a little bit about um, the truth about spirituality and that um, this is probably like the biggest thing that, uh, that a lot of mediums don't want to touch and that a lot of people don't want to talk about and it's very obvious that the whole world is guilty of and that thing is as, as performers, we're performers we're acting, we have no choice as a spirit, when you enter a body, you're performing in a in a character that you cannot deviate from. You have no choice but to but to follow the guidelines of the DNA construct of the role. And um, a lot of times, it becomes uh, I, have, I have to say, it becomes a cliche. A lot of things that we do as as spirits in these bodies, our, our personality, our character has become. Um, Kind of run out it's kind of run down it's too obvious um like um it, it, it it's like it, it's like when i was a child you can see that like babies or young children would cry on purpose you know and they know that you know that they want attention you know that like young children they perpetuate this stereotype of being a young child very delicate that wants uh, to be protected that like you know it's like the stereotype is that we create the stereotype we're the ones that perpetuate it yeah, I guess that in our subconscious mind the subconscious 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 spiritual mind you know which is more deeper we 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 tend to perpetuate um, our own our own we exaggerate the role that we're in we over exaggerate it like there's a uh, there's people out there that they over exaggerate the fact that they're hurt because they want you to come to them to help them you know these people are like 23 years old 30 years old and they're like grown adults that are just over exaggerating and perpetuating this this um this redundant stereotype this cliche and we all do it. We all do it. You know, the, we as spirits inhabiting these bodies, we're the ones who are perpetuating this damn stereotype. You know, when you see family members and they get drunk, you know, and the first couple of times it's okay, you don't know them that well. But then as time passes, you get older and then they still keep on doing the same thing and you start to see flaws. You start to see how like cliche and how like one dimensional their role is you see how predictable their their crying for their problems become you start to see all these things it becomes embarrassing is what it is it becomes embarrassing when like like you walk down the street or you go to school or you go to work and like it's like it, it, it's like you've seen it before. You've seen it before. You've seen it before. You've seen uh, um, like these kind of people that um, that just become a stereotype. Is what it is. You know, like the the, the 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 thing is though that the afterlife just doesn't realize that everything that we do has become. Um, Thin. It's become run down. It's, it's it, it, the, 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 the the game has become rusty, and the gears aren't turning right, turning back good. It's not fresh anymore. It's not fresh. You can see a guy coming down the damn street, and you've seen the first couple of times. You don't think nothing of it, and then you start to see the flaws. You start to see the redundancy. You start to see the redundancy in the schools, and and, and you start to see the redundancy when you go to the mall. The redundancy when you see your family members. You see. The constant redundancy of the character and personality re, uh, remerging again, you know, like like the like the certain cliches of like, oh, well, you know, there's a there's a, a fat guy, you know, I'm not trying to speak bad on these guys, but this is what happens. You see a fat person, and uh, you can only think to yourself, oh yeah, well they probably eat a lot. Well, you know what they probably do. And you see a person that has glasses and is very thin and very frail, and what do you think to yourself? Oh well, they're probably a nerd. Well, the thing is, is that, is that, is that it's inescapable, this flaw, this flaw in, in life, that everything has become a cliche, that the characters that the spirits inhabit have become um, old-fashioned, they become um, 
they they become redundant that it becomes completely boring and you know this is the thing too is that it's it's just it's it's unavoidable the cliches they come they come hard they come at you and they come hard you know like oh the sun rises and the sun sets you know oh well the you know the movies you know the good guys win the bad guys lose you know um you know the the, the birds come on, on spring and then they leave in the winter you know and uh and um and and the most horrible thing about it is that it's the in the social aspect is that oh well you know every saturday uh, my dad goes out and drinks and uh he tries to um you know he comes back from 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 drinking at 2 a.m he beats up my mother and then the next day he cries his eyes out and then and then and then like a few days later he's back to normal again and then it keeps going and going and going and going and going and going and that cliche keeps coming and you know what my friends and you know what let me tell you this that's been going for a goddamn motherfucking time that type of goddamn personality that type of goddamn cliche motherfucking cliche has been going on forever man those types of goddamn people have been around for years and years and years on this goddamn earth. Now we've got the cat by the tail, and now we're like, hey, 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 hey! I know you, I know you. You're not gonna do, you know, you, you, you know, you know. I know you. Step away from my life and don't ruin my life. You know, those type of people have been around. Oh well, there's um, you know, there's some, there's these crazy, you know, dark hooded guys that like, you know, they're they're crazy and stuff. They walk at night. They talk to themselves. But you know what, brother? They've been doing that since since the since the dawn of the age of the man. The only t the only thing is, is that now we're in a different age where we have become aware of that. You do you think that you're unique? You know, do you think I'm unique? No, no. In some ways we are because we become aware, and in some ways we could add some twists and some creativity to it to make it a different color, different texture. But in a way, no, we're not unique, brother. We are not exactly unique. And and God keeps on spitting out those people down to earth and stuff. Oh, I'm gonna send a child molester down there. I'm gonna send a gay guy down there. I'm gonna send a, a you know some 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 crazy drunken lunatic down there. Let, 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 let's all mix it up and let's all see, you know, what's going on, what's gonna happen, how's people react. And you know the spirits, they just when when you die and you go back to heaven or go to this alternate dimension, they forget how it is to be human. And so they're looking for the outside in and they misinterpret a lot of things they forget how it is how it is to be human again and they just what it is is that they're just they're, they're just keep on clogging the the funnel clogging the hole they're just exerting themselves in they put in they're really you know like god says and spiritualists say that every person makes a difference yes they do but at the same time you know what's with this excess amount of people on earth what exactly are they what these spirits want to do what are they doing what 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 are they trying to do they're not always going to achieve their goal most of the spirits are going to fail their mission and they're only going to get certain things certain things oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah you know when they die they go back and say oh yeah i lived a, i lived like 70 years oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah and i finally got a chance to to fuck someone in the anus i never did that in my past lives man Never did that before. That was fantastic. Only one damn thing I learned. Only one new thing I did that was different from the other 1,000 damn lives I lived in the past. Fuck someone in the anus. Woo, man. Ain't that fantastic? And now in terms of uh, spirituality, getting back to spirituality, the thing is, is that the, 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 the spirits, you know, they just, they just don't know what the hell they're doing, man. They just don't know what the hell they're doing. And... And they think that they're going on a voyage in this because when the spirits look at us from the outside in, they're looking from the outside in. You know, they're looking at us and they think that, oh wow, hey, hey, look at that. That guy's doing skateboard. Hey, hey, look at that guy's doing skydiving. Hey, hey, look, they're having kids, they're having sex. Hey, hey, look, they're they're, they're drinking, man. Hey, look at that. Woo! Hey, 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 God, can I come back? Can 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 I come back? Can I come back, please, please? And and and, and they don't notice, they miss. They miss the exact, they miss certain things. They, they miss exact certain things. They miss the fact that no matter when they come, they're going to be a stereotype. They're going to be something that has been there before. They're, they're going to come back as something that is not exactly original or unique. 
they cannot avoid that because it has been done before. And the spirits just don't realize that. They don't realize that that the game is run down, it's old, the game is is it is just uh it's tired, man. It's tired, the game is tired. Everything that we do has become a cliche, it's become old, it's become tired. The spirits just don't know what the hell they're doing. They're entering bodies. They're becoming a goddamn punchline. And we just keep on going and going and going. And that's why there's problems. Because there's nothing new. And we just keep on coming back as the fat guy, the skinny guy with the nerd, and you know, whatever. And uh, this whole damn game is just tired and old. And there's no reason for us to be playing this damn game anymore. This is Richard Cespedes. And that's the truth. And I speak about it because I believe in afterlife. Thank you guys for watching.